Yes, 2,400 service personnel would normally be based here in Bergen-Hohner Garrison, but have left their loved ones as part of the Desert Rats. Brigade Commander Brigadier Paul Nansen is still here. Brigadier, how hard is it for you to be left behind? Um, yeah, it's quite hard, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I, I, obviously, professional soldier, I'd like to be uh, forward with... Uh, with my men in Afghanistan, but um, we have we have an ethos with the Red Rats, and that is all of one company. So I think whether you know you're a, you're a private soldier back here with me or a commanding officer forward fighting in a fob, um, it's all of one company, uh, all one team, and we're all we're all focused on the fight in Afghanistan, and that's the way it should be. What is the biggest concern for those people who are left behind? It is hard. I mean, it's very hard for the families and, and with loved ones forward. I mean, I think you know there's a bit of isolation here. They're away from their their loved ones in the UK, that normal family support that would be there for them. And obviously they're worried about what's happening in Afghanistan. I think the best thing we can do is provide that uh, that family reassurance. And um, I like to look at it, you know, if someone's having a really bad day, the kids are playing up and that sort of thing, it's knowing who to turn to uh, for a bit of help and, and reassurance. And so that's what the, the rear operations groups provide. And I think you've seen earlier with the Scots Dragoon Guards, you know, they're working really hard to provide that information node for them to go to. And, you know, providing as I said before, this community support package, which is, you know, garrison welfare opportunities, going to amusement parks with the kids, opening swimming pools a bit longer, you know, that sort of thing. And I think also, you know, the unit welfare officers who, who, who do a fantastic job organising the coffee mornings and that, that sort of thing. So it's all, all one big thing. And when a service personnel come home, despite the, the, the joy of the arrival, that can also be a difficult time. How do you make sure that the welfare is looked after then? Well, it's, it's a tried and tested uh, path now. You know, we've been doing it for a while. Um, it starts off, for, for the boys in theatre, it starts off with, um, with decompression in Cyprus for a few days. Uh, and while that's happening here, we're, we're educating the families about what they can expect uh, when, when their loved ones get back. And then when they do get back, there's a series of briefings that they go through. We call it normalisation to get them used to being back into, uh, into peacetime soldiering. Uh, and that's as much for the families as it is for the soldiers who are coming back. But it's, as I say, it's a tried and tested path and we have specialists who are, who are more than capable of delivering those briefs. Clearly a very important garrison here. Just explain briefly how it fits into the whole of British Forces Germany. Uh, yeah, well, Hona Garrison, there's, there's, there's 5,000 soldiers, 10,000 people if you include families, so it's quite large. We're one of two, two armoured brigades still based out here, uh, working to the 1st United Kingdom Armoured Division based down in Hereford. That plus the log brigade down in Goodisloe is a fairly, fairly sort of potent part of, uh, of UK armed forces still left in Germany.